Okay, y'all. So, um, also, this video is coming to you guys to um to discuss um moisture and locks. I did get like a comment for it. I know my hair look roguish and I look kind of crazy, but it's late, y'all. So just forgive me, child. Forgive me, but I'm trying to like catch up on a few videos and a few requests. Okay. So just you know bypass it. But anywho. All right. <clears throat> yes, I'm still beautiful though. You know, Leo just came out. I gotta come back and let you know. But anywho, so um, moisture in the locks. Um, I had a few requests on what to do to kind of keep your locks moisture, and just to go over a few things with the scalp. Um, especially like at the beginning phases. Um, it can be dry, and it does depend on what phase that you are in at the beginning uh, phase. Um, definitely check out our consultation video, um, because it does let you know that you are going to go through like dry scalp like that's something that you should prepare for prior to you getting started because that's something that you're gonna have to go through i hear a lot and i see a lot of youtube videos to where um people telling you to put oil inside of eight ounces of water don't do any of that like especially at the beginning phase it's like please listen to your consultant because the people that y'all listen to on youtube is not going to come and reinvest in your establishment and that's just me being for real for real um they are not going to give you any money to go to your consultant to put down for them fixing your hair. So, avoid the casualties, okay? So, things that you can do at the beginning besides from just washing a little bit more frequent. So, things that I suggest. Start washing once a week. Once you get that clearance at that four-week uh, follow-up mark, and let's say a few weeks after you start to go through that itch and dandruff phase, what I can suggest is a few um, natural things and just a few things that I advise my clients. One is going to be washing a little bit more um, frequent. So washing once a week or every seven days. Um, the next step is going to be drinking more water. Okay? You need to be at drinking at least half your body weight. And trust me, if you definitely drink some alkaline water, do check if it's alkaline. Because a lot of people say that the water is alkaline and it's not. So do check and make sure that it's alkaline water because it will keep you a little bit more, a lot more hydrated and definitely um, recharge up your electrolytes. Um, the next thing is some people do and have advised that they take oils, vitamin E oil um, or omega-3 oil. And it does help the body itself keep a little bit more lubricated. Um, so you definitely can try that out. Um, another thing that you could try after your locks have settled a bit. Um, and matter of fact, before the locks even settle, you can even do some antiseptic treatments, um, which is, um, I do an antiseptic cherry, which is through basic. Um, or if you want to keep it strictly, you know, sister locks are just strictly, you know, together, you actually can, um, take some witch hazel and go in between the locks and your scalp with like a little cotton ball or maybe even a t-shirt and wipe your scalp, um, clean. Um, the next thing that you can actually do, I don't mind that my clients do is some people use rose water. I don't advise or disadvise against rose water. You know, it's more of a personal choice. The only thing that I can see with rosemary, um, rosemary water affecting your locks is if you add something to the rosemary water, which is an oil, or if you overspray, because a lot of people don't acknowledge that they have created slippage on the ends. But when you curl your hair a lot or use like a lot of water when um, curling it or saturating it or consistently always spraying it. Um, hold on, cut that off one second, baby. Um, consistently um, spraying water on it like you're not banding. So it's still water hitting the locks without being banded. So it causes the locks to shift. And can you please go on for one second so I finish my video go play in the room. So take your um, God brother with you. Um, the next thing um, that I would want to recommend, and these are all like the beginning phases where you really can't do too much, okay? Don't try to listen to people and get sidetracked and feel like, oh, okay, it's okay. No, it's not okay. I see like in so many of the groups that people say, go ahead and put some oil up in there to ease that scalp. And then what winds up happening is that they don't see any damage. You won't see any damage until it actually starts to lock. And then after it locks, you'll actually start to see holes in your locks or where the rotations have failed. Or maybe you have more frailways than what normal people have. And I mean the long frailways. Because you're using something that's too heavy and oil and water could still be too heavy, okay? The next thing that I would recommend once you get a little bit further down... Um, and one, matter of fact, once the locks has settled and if you to the point to where you're using the, um, like you can use rose water, you definitely can use the sister lock herbal moisture spray. 
Um, that's a spray that's not going to cause any slippage. If you spray it on your skin, it's going to be absorbed in immediately. And it's not going to be any oil residue. So that's an okay, you know, spray to actually use. Um, the next thing is once you have matured a bit, settled a bit, and your loctician give you the okay to use the Sister Lock Moisture Treatment, you actually can do that and put on the moisture treatment. Some options of what people may do with the moisture treatment. Now, let me explain. This is a cream base. So, you do not want to put a whole bunch on to just cake it up in your hair. Um, this is going to be the same rule that you are applied when you're natural. So, a little bit goes a long way. Um, for one particular hair locks, you probably only need a quarter size, okay? And I like... Oh, no problem, baby. Oh, I'm concerned about all... Oh getting lots because i suffer from I'm sorry you guys i had one little message i want to make sure that i read my message no oh, about getting lost because i have suffered from alopecia yes um a lot of people do girl hold on i'm girl i'm gonna go there hold on girl i'm gonna go there i'm cold there so just hold on let me i'm gonna finish this one up because i got on the last stuff with that moisture treatment and then i'm gonna run it into that your yeah, alopecia and stuff like that because that still ties into why you don't want to put a lot of products in your hair especially if you have other um medical issues or other scalp issues like alopecia alopecia i'm talking about alopecia alopecia um, you definitely want to make sure that you watch out for the things that you put into your locks because you don't want to weigh your locks down. Um, so again, that moisture treatment, you only need a quarter size. Um, yeah, you're going to musify it or rub it through your hands. And it's best for me than when it's applied on wet hair because it helps the hair absorb it into the cortex to where it needs to go. So once your hair is wet, so after you have washed your hair, you can actually take that moisture treatment and nicely, like, Put it on your hair. You don't need a lot. You don't need to see it. It's not like when you have loose natural hair. So when you squeeze and you want all that cream coming out, you know you got it in there good. You don't need that. You only need a little bit. And let me tell you two parts. Some people actually put a cap on and then you actually can deep condition the hair. You're welcome, baby. Some people can actually deep condition the hair with the cap on and um, you sit underneath the dryer for about 15 minutes and then you actually can take it off and you kind of good to go. You don't even have to really wash that out at all because you can leave it and you can go. But it's just to help it get into the cortex if it's really extremely dry. Now what some people also do is some people rinse it out and then they apply some more which I think is a bit much. So for me. I would suggest if you want to do a deep conditioner with it, you definitely can. But I would just actually leave it in. I would, you know, let my hair dry to close the cuticles and I actually would leave it in. Um, if you want to close your cuticles because it's really extremely damaged, you can actually rinse it with cold water. And then when you get done, you actually can reapply it. Because this moisture treatment is something that you could put in and leave in the hair. So you don't necessarily have to wash this out. If you want to close down your cuticles, you definitely can. And that is going to be with cold water because cold water closes the cuticles. Um, but again, you don't want to put a lot of stuff in the hair. The main reason for you to get sister locks is to be free from being tied down or putting a whole bunch of stuff in your hair. That's not saying that you won't need a little oomph in there, but it's just the freedom of not applying a lot of stuff. The reason why is because some people get build up and not some people, all people. If you look at traditional locks sometimes, and this is no hateration, because some of y'all do y'all locks very well and it doesn't have no build up. But a lot of people that I see with locks, you actually can cut that lock and turn it sideways. And I can see everything they put on us since day one. I'm talking about day one. It be stuck, okay? So you want to make sure by it is already being extremely small, you don't want to have any buildup. And that's why the Sister Lock brand products are really light. And they don't have a lot of buildup. And they don't have a lot of oils. And the way that they are broken down and manufactured and made, the molecules absorbed into the cortex so that it's not holding a lot of hair and a lot of products in those logs. So make sure that you only put a little bit of products in there. Um, another thing I noticed that some people have buildup, but that could be just from like your hair, you know, being on the back of your nape or whatever, just because we still share skin cells and it's just rubbing. So some people still may have that. Um, to get rid of that long run, I would consider an apple cider vinegar wash. Um, I'm, I'm talking about apple cider, uh, apple cider um, baking soda wash. Don't kill me, y'all. Don't kill me. So, yes, I would suggest that, but that's way later on. Don't try to do it during month two, three, four, five, and six, because I'm telling you, you will have a mess. 
because you do need to allow your hair to soak. Um, well, we were talking about alopecia and stuff. Let's get into that. Girl, you is so welcome for that book. Like, I share it, girl. Um, but it is for a lot of people who are starting and you want to have the general understanding of what is expected when you get your locks. So that's why the name of the book, which is available on Amazon, um, is Our Sister Locks Right For You. I mean, not Sister Locks, I'm sorry. Our Locks Right For You. I had to change that name because y'all know Sister Locks don't be playing. But Our Locks Right For You. Um, so it gave a lot of information to kind of make sure that locks was for you. Um, the reason why it's important to not like to make sure you read that book and get a general understanding because most of this stuff is put in there too. And it also just lets you know why you don't want to do like some of the things that you do. Because some people don't have the general understanding that even though you have locks, you still can go through hair loss. You still can have alopecia. It can affect you. And that's why it's important to make sure that your products that you're putting in there is not overly saturating the hair. Now, I can't talk about specific products, but I know, like, a lot of people tell me that they use, like, over-conditioning products that you definitely would use with natural hair. Those are not things that you want to use with your sister locks because you are not loose natural, okay? You have all of your hair that's rolled up and pulled into one. Even your shedded hair doesn't go anywhere. Once you start the uniform matting and your hair is encased in there, it's in there. So it already has disconnected hairs that should have shed that is inside of this lock to make this lock. So it's important to make sure that you don't add unnecessary weight. Unnecessary weight. I No, I'm going to go ahead and cream of nature. Y'all y'all know y'all good for it. You know, Carol's daughter, I love all of those products. I love them. But... They are not the best products that you would want to go to to use for sister locks or locks. Um, another thing that I definitely want to make sure that people understand is doing oil on your locks. Like, you really have to think about that. Um, because oil, you can come back 10 years and it's still there. And especially for this inter uh, women pattern. We have, like, we don't have anything to really hold it, you know, at the end. So if we don't have anything to kind of hold it at the end like a rubber band or not to like secure it, it's easy to slip if those cuticles are real oily, you know? Um, and oil doesn't, well most oils, does not absorb into the skin. That's why when you come back 10 years later, it's still there. So with that aspect, you have to think that 10 years later, it's still going to be there on your lock and it's still going to be weighing it down. So definitely think about those things before you get started. Um, another shampoo that I noticed that people use is that Suave shampoo. And people are like, oh, that's the best. They be swearing about it. Baby, don't use it. And the Sister Lock Webs, oh, not, girl, I use Sherical Badu. Girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Because the point of Sister Locks is to use less. If you are using more, you could cause unnecessary alopecia. You could cause traction alopecia, to be specific. Because if it's already way down from hair that have disconnected, which doesn't cause any harm, but now you add no more product that's caked up in there, which is really going to wear down. Um, so just make sure that you watch those things. Make sure that you communicate with your loctician because your consultant is going to be advised about sister lock products. You know, she's going to know about them. So if you have any questions, you know, make sure that you speak with her so that you could be on the same um, path. Let's say that you started off on the clarifier shampoo or the spotter shampoo. That's not where you're always going to be. Eventually, you can get on the salon shampoo, which is a little bit more conditioning. And with that salon shampoo, you always want to start on light. With the starter shampoo, you do not dilute. But with the um, salon shampoo, you do dilute. For you to do a light dose, you're going to do a one-part shampoo, three-part waters. If you're going to do a heavy dose, you're going to do one, one part shampoo to one part water. So it'll be half and half. Then if that's not satisfying to you, talk to your consultant again. Then eventually they can move you up to the green tea shampoo. And you can start that on light. Again, one part shampoo, three part water. Then you're going to go do one part shampoo, one part water. Okay, that's going to be your heavy dose. Okay, and then after that, you can start including that moisture treatment and remember you can always start using that herbal moisture spray okay and that's something that you can spray throughout the day once you open up that moisture treatment though ladies make sure that you take that moisture treatment and put it in the refrigerator 
Yes, it will need to be refrigerated um, to make sure that it's still good. Um, make sure that you don't contaminate it. So that means when you go in, you want to make sure that it's clean. And you also might want to even use a utensil to pull it out. Um, that's all the advice that I could give you guys. If you guys have any other questions, definitely make sure that you check below um and make sure that you leave a comment if you like the videos if you like the information and you want me to keep sharing with you guys just make sure that y'all like it leave a comment great job and check out some other videos that we have if you are new to the locks make sure that um you do your research because at the end of the day it is your job and your obligation to do the research if you allow somebody to sit there and mess up your head not only can you just blame that person, you have to blame yourself. Because if you didn't do the research knowing that this is something that's going to be there permanently, that means that you didn't do what you were supposed to do. And ignorance of the law do not excuse you. So us, we have to put the power back in our court. I'm trying to give y'all the information so y'all have that. Yes, girl, go book your consultation. www.benaturallocks.com Hold on, Keisha. Can you get the baby? Y'all know it. This, you know, my life be so great. I'm trying to help y'all. I help my people. You know, my sister, she got a baby. Just cry. She will be kid. She will be kid. God, baby, coming in. Kids laugh. But at least y'all, I'm coming to y'all and I'm trying to give y'all the information y'all need. So again, if y'all got any questions, hit me up. Make sure y'all leave something below. Again, if y'all want to book any consultations, we even got hair loss consultations. Regimen consultation, mentorship consultations. Make sure y'all hit me up at www.benaturallocks.com. I got another one. What? What's going? Y'all know you see me doing a whole live video. What's going on, son? Real quick. Boosting the change again. Okay. Brittany. Okay. What well, thank you. I appreciate it. Y'all, I'm finna let y'all go so I go monitor this household because they going crazy. It's like a zoo up in here. So let me go figure out what's going on. But anyway, again, if y'all even got some questions on some future videos, baby, I know I was late on this moisture video. Video, but I came and I gave it to you so um forgive me um make sure y'all read that book okay our locks right for you and I gave y'all so many ways to read it for free okay I put it on free for when y'all signing up y'all already got an Amazon account and y'all already exchange books on audibles um I even did like the book it like um I think the book exchange I did a few different things so y'all can get it for the freezy. But again, there's nothing wrong with paying that $9.99 and keeping it just so that you guys can always go back and check it out and read up on it. Um, Again, it is um, our locks right for you on Amazon. We have the consultation video here, here. So make sure you take that time. Sign up for the bell. Yeah, it's right down there. Just like click it, my bell. Okay, even if you save it for later, but you know I did a video. So you know it's something for you to come and watch. Um, again, um, look at the consultation video, rehearse it, go over it. They're going to give you, I'm going to give you some helpful information. Um, and also I even have a, um, banding video. You guys know y'all should be banding at beginning stages. So stop playing, try to decrease from branding. Don't just go stop and go cold turkey. Y'all decrease like you do any other habit. Okay. Um, and other than that, y'all happy Valentine's day. And I'm just happy to come and give y'all the information. All right, y'all. Have a great evening.